Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can mock data very easily via an online remote tool called glitch.com. So uh, this is the one that I want to show you about. But firstly, let's try to understand what we want to talk about in this video. So as you can see over here, I have my playground that is open and I am defining a URL string, a URL as well as a request. So pretty straightforward stuff. And then uh, I'm calling this slash hello route over here and I'm loading it inside URL session and I'm printing out the data while casting it into a Swift dictionary. All right. So when I hit the play button over here, notice that it's going to uh, call this endpoint and it returns to me uh, a dictionary name, uh, and which is my name over here. So I want to show you how did I manage to set this value over here. And it's none other than this service called glitch.com. Again, this service is completely free. You don't have to pay for it. And I learned this technique through another instructor. So let me show it to you what I can do over here. So as you can see over here, uh, this is a Node.js application and I have uh, configured the route hello over here. And if I want, I can actually just uh, add new things over here. So let's do meta, let's do ID five and maybe let's call this uh, supported okay it's supported maybe true for example okay so now yeah. instantly I can just come back to my playground and just hit the play button and guess what it's going to show up very instantaneously all right so in today's video I want to show you how you can actually set up an account over here if you uh, want to test it this way and uh, I'm going to show you how you can configure this uh, routes as well okay so if you are first to Node.js uh, if you're completely new, then uh, this video might be for you. All right, so what you want to do is to register an account. Uh, I got mine completely free. And then once you're done, I'm going to go to my projects and I'm going to set up a brand new uh, project so that you know you can do this alongside with me, okay? So just come to new project and select glitch hello node over here. It says a simple node app built with Fastify instantly up and running. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this. And then it's just it's going to generate a project online for me. So you can think of this as an online Visual Studio Code. So if you do have backend experience, then this will be extremely familiar to you. But if it's not, it's okay. Just follow follow alongside with me, and I can show it to you how to set this up. Okay. So very simply, this is what you see typically inside Visual Studio Code on the left hand side where all the files are. What we are really interested in is just uh, server.js. So let's click on this one. <laughs> And you see, there's a bunch of stuff over here which we don't really need, okay? So I'm just going to control A, sorry, command A, and just delete everything. And what I'm really interested in is just a few lines of code, all right? So I'm going to show you what to paste that in, okay? So as you can see here, I've already prepared some things over here. So all I need is just one, two, three, four, five. Actually, five lines of code is what I need as the starter code. So just paste this in here, very simple. And then I need to install Express. So let me just copy this. And then let's come over to the terminal and let's run that command. Okay, is it loading it already? Let's see. Oh, why is it not showing up? Let's uh full page terminal, let's see. I think it's a it's it's a glitch. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so just paste this in. Let's perform the installation. So this will take uh, just a couple of seconds really quickly. And then what we can do now is just to configure our routes. Okay, so, oh, okay, it's, it's finally loading. Okay, so what we can do is I can do, um, let me just uh, get the starter code over here. So <clears throat> let me just copy this and then just paste this over here. So this is the part that you can specify the route. So this route is going to be hello. So maybe I'm going to change this to hi there instead okay so this makes a distinction from the previous project and then i'm going to do a res.json and then we can specify what that json is okay so let's do a message uh hello there okay and i think that's all we need okay so what we need to do next is that we have to update the url so the way i'm going to do it is that see now this is called self organic while bees.glitch.me let's specify the uh, the route which is high there and then let's hit the enter button and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this inside a new window so I can grab the entire um, URL okay so let's close this and then let me just paste this inside over here and when I hit the play button notice that I believe high there should be printed out 
um, almost instantaneously. All right, so it's pretty cool. Okay, if you need to do something a bit more funky, so maybe let's uh, let's do something a bit more um, a more um, complex. So let's call this complex JSON. Okay, so let's assume uh, you know your backend dev has some JSON for you. JSON example. Okay, and then maybe let's use this one over here. So we have something that's uh, a bit more complex. All right, over here, you can just copy this. All right, so backend will probably your backend dev will probably give you an API contract, or you can get it from maybe the Postman collection. So you can just copy this thing over here. <clears throat> Come back here, and then let's uh, let's declare a constant. Let's call this uh, constant. Um, uh, you can just paste the whole thing over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is let's come over here and instead of complex JSON, this time I'm going to uh, return JSON. Oops, can't spell. Is this correct? Constant JSON? Yeah, correct. Okay, so right now if I come back to my um, my playground and then let's call this complex JSON. And then let's hit the play button. I believe I should see the entire uh, thing that's being printed out. All right, so that's pretty cool, really fast for your own testing. And then if you know, I, I, I do see other applications for this. So for example, you want to um, test uh, uh, if it's a, you know, you want to simulate like a delay in the API call, you can actually just modify some of the code inside this Node.js app as well. All right, I hope that this video is useful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.